All right, so let's go ahead and let's start our first challenge. So I'm on my GitHub repo and I'm simply going to um, go to challenges of 2022. And then I'm going to scroll down to challenge number one and we're gonna click on that. And like I said, you click on whatever challenge you want, depending on when you're watching this video, there's probably a bunch more in there. And this is the repo for the code challenge. Uh, and I've created this code challenge in code sandbox. So I'm gonna simply just open that up. I've actually had it open and refresh that. And what we're gonna build is a simple form with a button on it that when you click this button, it actually increments the number. Now there are some requirements to this. You cannot use bootstrap. You cannot use any JavaScript libraries. This has to be straight, pure, raw JavaScript CSS. I require that you have a header, a body, and a footer section for this card app, and it must be centered, it must be responsive, you must be able to adjust with the screen like that. I don't care how you put the 11 in here or, or the number that's incrementing here, because I took an input and I just basically use CSS to style the input so it actually blends in with the card. Uh, so you can do that if you want. Uh, but you can use whatever you want, a span, a div, you know, just a P tag, whatever you want. Get creative with it. And that's the point of this code challenge. I don't want to just see you guys taking this and, you know, building exactly what I've built. I want to see you guys take it to the next level. Those are the people who are going to win this challenge. Now, if you're just new to coding, then it'd probably be better if you examine the code, you look at it and you try to do these things on your own. And when you get stuck, refer back to the code and, you know, see where you go wrong, make some notes and turn it in anyways, because I want to see if you can actually reproduce this without just straight up copying it. So, I mean, this is going to serve you a lot better if you're actually putting forth the effort to do it, because I don't care how many videos you watch on YouTube or how many courses you take on Udemy, um, watching other people code is not going to make you a programmer. You have to actually start writing lines of code. And there's so many people who get stuck in these cycles of just learning and uh, all these different frameworks are trying to learn certain things and trying to do it in a hurry and they you know they might know all the concepts and have the intuition behind it but they're not programming because they're not writing any code and if you want to get good at this you're gonna have to start on it and you're gonna fail and you're gonna have trials and you're gonna run into problems and you're gonna have to learn how to go online and figure out how to solve those problems because that's what it's all about solving problems all right building things with code is solving problems and the best way to learn how to do that is to actually do it and that's the purpose of this code challenge so take this concept uh and just just crush it and build something way better but it has to meet the requirements like i said again it has to have a header a body a footer has to have a button or whatever else you want down here. I don't care as long as you can click it and it increments a number in the center or wherever you want it at. You can add animations to it. You can add slides to it. I don't care. It must be responsive. Uh, and for a technical requirement for those who are more advanced thinking, yeah, this is probably something lame. Well, you're going to have to write something similar to this where you are injecting this HTML and propagating it into this HTML page from the index.js. We're essentially creating our own components from scratch, like libraries such as React and Vue. So you're creating your own component with pure JavaScript. And that's what I want you to do. There should be no or little HTML on the actual HTML page. The only HTML you should have is the basic structure of your page and the scripts that you're using to inject into the page. Uh, and that's it. There's no HTML code on here. There's no buttons, no divs, no nothing, uh, except for what's appropriate. That is another requirement. And for those of you who really don't understand this concept, then just look at the code and you'll learn. And uh, if you want to understand what injecting components is, um, I'll leave a description in the link of a good resource you can go read to kind of give you some more intuition behind it. But other than that, that is the project. I hope you guys uh, nail this challenge. I can't wait to see what you guys bring. Don't forget to uh, post your repo. Uh, in the Discord channel or in the Facebook group. And like I said, I'll be in there actively every week. Um, even if you just found this video and it's two years later, do the code challenge and post it and I will check it out. Um, just put a hashtag in Discord or Facebook that says code challenge one uh, when you post, uh, when you actually submit the post. So, all right, let's get started with this challenge. 